Welcome to Retro Sports Gamer Channel. I'm Tim Kittrow from NBA Jam and Mutant Football League, NFL Blitz, and a few other games. Boom shakalaka. Kaboom. It's time to play the playoffs in ESPN NFL 2K5. I ended up getting the bye at 12 and 4. I started this season probably in the end of 2018. And I finally am doing a playoff game. Just to recap. I traded for Michael Vick at some point. He got lit, injured the last game of the season. He still won the MVP and Offensive Player of the Year and led the league in rushing, but he tore his ACL. He's out for the season. Luckily, I did get an insurance policy because my game has been using the scrambling quarterbacks. I have Cordell Stewart, which is... Ironically, played on the Bears, I think, a year or two before this game came out. So, I traded for him. And the best available guy that was a scrambler as a quarterback in the free agents entering in the playoffs was T. Martin. T. Martin's got an 81 speed, I believe. And uh, Cordell Stewart, I think, is an 87. So... Looking at the front office here. Well, let's look at the game plan, the depth chart. Offensively, so Vic's out. Yeah, T. Martin, 53 overall. But he has the speed. He's going to be the backup quarterback. He led the Vols, the Tennessee Vols, to a national championship, which I learned on the last broadcast from the chat. So yeah, uh, my opponent is to be decided. I didn't think I had a chance of catching the Vikings for the first overall seed in the NFC since they had a three-game lead at one point, but ended up uh, edging them out. They went on a losing streak. We tied at 12-4, and four and uh, I got the tiebreaker versus them. So let's simulate the first playoff game. And then I'll probably do the Sports Center just to see what happens if they give me the option. Since I'm just going to simulate this week. Alright, so it looks like my opponent is the Washington Redskins. Let's watch this week's Sports Center and see what occurred in this uh, wildcard playoff round. Going with the lamp look tonight. So you can see the reflection of what's on the TV in the back, which is pretty cool, I think. I'm Chris Berman. Well, let's get straight to the action. In our first game this week, we had the Bengals come away with a seven-point win. In a long-standing NFC rivalry, we had the Rams pick up their 11th win of the year. Antoine Winfield had a stellar game, but all said and done, his performance wasn't enough to lift Redskins his team to a victory. Redskins beat the Vikings, wow. And last but not least, we had the Titans come away victorious. Streak. All right, Chris, thanks. In front of you, we've got the AFC Infirmary Report. And as you can see, they were hit hard this week. Keith Bullock will be on the sidelines for a while. So this defense That's going to be give me a better chance, honestly, because the, the, the good quarterbacks in this game are... The ones that have given me a tough, tough time. And there you see Vicks out for the playoffs. Torn ACL. Michael Vick won't see action for a while, so this offense is going to have to make do without him. Unfortunately, it's a torn ACL. We'll see what Cordell Stewart can do. Now, on to even bigger news, as you may have already heard. Joey Galloway will miss the remainder of the year. And this is a big blow to this passing game. So this is one thing that's not hashed out that well. They continue to show injury updates throughout the course of all these sports centers, even if they've talked about them before. So that'll do it for now. Chris, let's 
send it back to you. But if you're watching, let me know you could hear everything okay with the game. Want to make sure that that volume is good. That'll do it, everybody. I'm Chris Berman. Thanks for joining us in the Bristol studio. And this is definitely going to be a showdown Saturday. Playoff game. Worldwide leader in sports. All right, let's hop right into the game. No reason to uh, delay it any further. Prepare for the game, no. Let's play it. We haven't prepared for any game. We just go straight in and play street ball, Chicago style. And I am drinking a beer tonight. This is a tuna by Half Acre. Coming up, we've got an awfully good divisional matchup for you here. Washington, Chicago. Well, the fans are looking for their seats as the teams are down on the field warming up. Good weather. Wasn't expecting that in Soldier Field. I traded for Cordell Stewart because surprisingly he wasn't that much slower than Vic. Vic, I think, was a 91 speed and Cordell was 87. Very generous to, at this stage in his career to have him that close to Vic, who was just blazing quick, blazing fast. With the game about to begin, we'll see who has what it takes to advance to the next round. And now let's go down to the coin toss. Marty Booker also led the league in receiving for me, so he's the go-to target. Thomas Jones is the running back, but he hasn't got much, many touches because of all the scrambling. I'm going to kick off and play some defense. Brunel's their quarterback. I'm not... I really feel like I should be able to pull off this game. To end the season, I believe I went on a six-game winning streak. So that is still current right now. A six and four at one point. And I feel like I did play the Redskins. Let's get the helmets updated. Susie Culver is down on the field and has some information for us. Susie? Thank you, Dan. It's a windy day out here with the flag whipping Red around skins. above it. The kickers will definitely have to try to gauge the wind when aiming their kick. Back to you. Susie, thank you. We've got the old Tecmo helmets in there. Oh, wow. Burnell's stepping it up for the playoffs. Brunel makes a terrific completion in double coverage here. Wow. Now that is one confident QB. We'll see if that uh, continues the rest of this game. He could be a threat if he gets loose out of the backfield. He's fast in all these games. And he was a fast running back. Played his best seasons with the, with the Denver Broncos. And I felt like I was out, a little out of position there myself. It looks like the computer's stepping it up for the playoffs. This is on all pro with no sliders. That's how I played the entire season. And usually I don't have to get too creative on defense if I stick with the two man. So basically you got two guy two of the safeties back. Everyone's covered, man covered. Let's see what the flag is here. Let's see what's going on here. 
26. Todd McMillan. So he shouldn't really be in the game. We need Jerry Azuma over there. I don't know how that... Todd McMillan keeps finding his way into the games. So maybe that's why uh, that first completion happened. But since I traded away Peanut Tillman earlier in the season, having the quarters in Azuma, those are my two best options. There's a drop and a play by McCorders. Not allowing it to happen. So if you are chatting, I'm not seeing anything in there right now. Mike Green has made some plays for me this season. Pretty good safety for the Bears. Really threatening. Wow. This to the right sideline, and it's cut for the score. Mark Brunel airs this one out beautifully. That's how you throw the ball down. Take notes all you want. Well, I might have to change the defense up next time. That was just too easy for them. Two big throws by Brunel. Run that good. drive. And I'm in a hole early at home. But for the most part, playing this season has been very enjoyable. Uh, played through seasons most of the time with Madden and uh, bought this game back then but really didn't give it too much of a chance. Oh, Cordell's tackled. So I'm used to throwing hot left. And now I have a right handed quarterback. So we're either going to have to flip the plays or get used to that. Second down from the shotgun. And bunch of receivers out there. Defense is expecting that, and they go to nickel. Stewart Not looking good on his first drive so far. It falls incomplete. Right, Smooth was on the short out from the get go on that last play and was able to get in there and make sure it was incomplete. If complete, that would have made for a bit shorter third down play, but the defense had other options. Let's try to sneak out here on a scramble and see if I could do it. All the pieces fall into place. Third down coming up. Sent all the receivers across the field and able to bust out a scramble to the left. Now we're rolling. It looks like Cordell was tired for a second there, but wore off quickly. Oh, that's a second sack. A huge loss by getting the sack way in the backfield. Check it out. Oh, yeah, he went right through the O-line and got to his man. Great effort. Peter, he's really gotten after the quarterback in this game. Oh, you can say that again. Try a little bit of play action. tackles and two sacks. Second down with a split back Just worked out that way. One man to beat. I'm going to try to throw back to the other side, but the pressure just forced me away from that side. 
Yep, nice little scramble there. He saw he had no options, so he did what he had to do. Peter, it doesn't even seem fair when your quarterback can run like he can. We're going to switch in T. Martin for a second because I, I want to get this first down. He's tired. And that's what makes this guy so dangerous. Good coverage, good pressure, but still no one could corral him. Give it up, ho. Thoroughly you can go home. Picks it up. Leave him in for a few more plays. This is quarterback type by committee. That scramble got him some yards. He was lucky on that one. We got an older Cordell Stewart. He's getting tired pretty quick. And the way I'm able to tell that is when you look at the play selection screen, he's highlighted in red or yellow. Yellow's like he's a little bit tired. So right now, Everything you see right there, all my players aren't tired. Because they're all in white. Second down from the eye. Oh, I tried to cut it back. It looked like there was an opening, but I guess not. What's up, Antonio? How's it going? Good to see someone's out there in the chat. I've built momentum doing uh, these season videos, but uh, it's been a while, so. T. Martin hits Barian. That's good. I appreciate you joining the stream tonight. So I'm going with quarterback by committee in this one. T. Martin looking good. Probably going to bring back Cordell after one more running play. To Thomas Jones. And I'm probably going to run more because... You know, I do have scrambling quarterbacks. What's up, Adam, in the chat? How you doing? I did watch the NBA draft. I watched pretty much up to pick maybe 40, 50, probably pick 50. Uh, so, you know, I'm from Chicago. I like what the Bulls did. They needed, they need to show some more promise at point guard. Chris Dunn, they traded for him. A couple years ago, he's he looked he was much improved his first year, and then he busted his face in a play. Last year didn't play that great, um, so he took a step back. I still think he's a solid point guard and a defender, but I don't know if he's a starting point guard without being able to shoot that well. But I do like Chris Dunn, so they got Kobe White. And we'll see what Kobe's able to do for the Bears. Oh, there's a lot of space. Oh, I wanted it, but I just didn't want to injure him. Hopefully I can punch this in. The problem is, I don't really think there's any goal line plays in this game. I haven't been able to find them if they're there. So, like, this is the best thing I could do. I want to run a draw. Counters are rough because you let, give them a chance to rush. Oh, man. I'll try the weak toss, see what happens. It's open. And we're on the board, Bears. At home. Defense was a little rough, but it answered the touchdown. So now I'm feeling a little bit better about this game. 
check out his field vision. Great job of finding space. Good mix on that drive. So, Antonio, what did you think about the NBA draft? Any surprises for you? What's your hometown team, and what did you think of their draft? The Bears or the Bulls got a guy from Oklahoma, power forward. I forgot his name. In the second round. But Kobe White is young. I don't. He's probably not going to be ready to be the starter next year. So Chris Dunn's going to get probably another year to show what he can do, and Kobe White will be the point guard off the bench, which is fine. Number 85 downs this in the end zone for a touchback. But I really like the Bulls starting lineup moving forward. But they could probably use a three-point shooter, and I think they have some money to spend on a free agent. Which they would be wise to do. Oh man, the electricity in your neighborhood went out. This defense is not looking good. Brunel's getting the ball there. Uh, Toy Story 4 is out. That's a big movie. Stutter and Stick 23 just got home from work. Even on the West Coast, it's kind of late. So, if you're out there, if not, by me, it's almost midnight. Oh, come on. Who's... That can't happen. Stop routes. All right, I'm bringing pressure this time from the corner. Stop routes. He has all day to throw. No, this is what you can't have happen for Portis. Luckily, we have work. It's going to be 10 p.m. here. So, yeah, you must be on the West Coast. That's a great play, great execution. Let's have another look. Yep, got past the ball. Oh, all of a sudden, the Redskins are. Well designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chains. They're looking good. Let me tell you, Dan, hearing those chains move is one of the best sounds in the game for an offense. You're not going to see it. Yeah. I, I'm not going to see it either. Oh, my God. Are you serious? Is wide open. Ready as Coles. So he's a chance to get a good one. What happened? I don't even want to see that again. All right. Just more pressure. I'm giving him an easy score, so there's more pressure on me to score a touchdown before this half is over. I swear, a lot of these games this season. The quarterbacks were just terrible for the other teams. Not making throws. Nobody open. But so far in this game, Brunel has just been shredding my defense. And there he just didn't have to miss the throw. And it's a touchdown. We'll see if I can break anything. Still three yards, not bad. Oh man, so. The defense stayed home until I crossed the line of the scrimmage there. Well, Stewart gaining some ground on the up. Gaining some yardage on the ground. How the heck do you flip the play? Oh, it's the black button. That's why. First down with the tight end right. Go 
lost five yards. I haven't found the PS1 version of Live 99 yet. It's something I should just go ahead and buy online. He was not going to let that quarterback get that the pass off. Button. That'll be his first sack of the game. All right, I'm going to try hitting this post route that's been huge for me this season. Oh, he did. I hit the wrong button. It's so confusing. L on the right side. That last tackle in the backfield. Great stop. I tell you what, Dan, one NFL scout told me before the draft this year that he wouldn't be surprised if Sean Taylor was starting in front of the this year. This guy's got all the I gotta get, take the hit here. 100 yards rushing for Cordell already. Toughing it out in this playoff game. Still got all my timeouts. Two minute warning shouldn't be. I looked, it's it's on eBay. I can definitely get it. I know you've been asking for a while, so it's definitely oh, something I should numbers. get. It's my next game I get. How about that? If I buy any other game, that's gonna be it. It's the slide. Hundred and seven on the uh, on the ground. Just finding the holes. I have had a tendency throughout the season to throw interceptions, so that's why I'm a little hesitant in the playoff games, especially if I could find some running room like this. Getting out of bounds, stopping the clock. Oh, break the tackle. Thomas Jones sticks close to his blockers here. Got this one. Oh no! Are you kidding me? A touchback? That's the worst rule in football. Oh wow. That's some bullshit. Oh, I can't believe it. The Redskins are looking for some separation before half, and we'll start this. They really need to change that rule. I should get the ball at, at least at my 20. Pick it! Oh my god, these guys are just standing there. This is frustrating. These poles had three guys covering him, but look what happens. And First down, tight end to the left. That's what happens when you risk it with the quarterback. Takes this one way out left. The Redskins take their first timeout. They took a timeout? I was going to take one to stop the clock. Yeah, computer definitely seems like they're stepping it up. Get it! Yes! Ooh, backwards. Okay, at the 40. Peter, there are many ways you can start a drive, but a turnover is not one of them. No, definitely not. That was a big time play. Bears offense comes out and has an opportunity to tie it before half. They'll start. He doesn't have that gun like that. Washington makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. Where the hell is Booker? Washington came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for what is going on. That had potential for some yards, Peter, but the defense was on top of it and shut it down. Good denial there. Second down coming up. Why is Booker not in the game? That's a problem. Let's check the depth chart. I 
don't know what's going on with this. Okay. Just engage. Alright. Get Varian as a receiver here. All right, now we got the my best receiver in the game. So that should, in theory, help. All right, that will at least put me in field goal range. Still got two timeouts. I don't know about throwing this deep corner route, but maybe give it a shot. I have played the NBA Live 99 before on PS1. It's just been a while. I remember thinking that it was better. Like you say, the, the player models are better. Uh, I The one thing that irritated me about it was the, the no roster update. Not taking the chance that time. 200 yards. <laughs> this is nuts. First down, empty backfield. Sure, just their defense is not coming. They must not have a good defensive line either because there's no one coming around the corner threatening. I think you drink a beer to that. Nice gain on this thing. Look at it eat up the yardage here. Flash is doing it. Cordell Stewart. One of those players that played wide receiver and quarterback. Played more wide receiver early on and then then more quarterback for the Pittsburgh Steelers. They ended up using them in a lot of trick play scenarios. So we got a good game on our hands here, 14-14. That lateral fumble was absolutely huge. Threw the ball backwards. I'm playing more conservative than usual. And I fumbled, taking the one chance at the end zone. For the touchback. I haven't tried the new Madden 20 beta. How do you think? How do you like it? From what I hear, Madden 19 was so bad that they could only approve. puts his arm into this one and... 16 seconds, I still have two timeouts. Big mistake there by the Redskins. That was a nice pick. I'm going to keep scrambling outside until they figure this out. If they go in a zone, I can't, I can't do it like this. But they're in some kind of zone here. This is this is why I like to play games though, man versus man. Because if I was playing someone else, they would be taking a middle linebacker and going to sack the outside. But oh man! It's tempting to go for it here, but there's only five seconds. I think I can hit a field goal. So now Cordell has 200 yards rushing, so I, I must have had 200 yards rushing as a team before. It's a little bit of wind. I think I should hit that. Just inside the corner. 
Two big turnovers by the Redskins. Capitalize on those, and I get the ball at halftime. So if I can score a touchdown on that, on my first drive back, I'll be feeling pretty good about this one. But given how it was looking after that touchback fumble, definitely very happy to be up three here. The gameplay is smooth. Yeah, I mean, this day and age, I don't know how how you would ha make a game without smooth gameplay. I mean, I know back, not, not in these days necessarily, but a generation before it, there's... The system just couldn't handle some of the things they were doing. And there was frame rate issues. But that's not the case in this game. This game is fluid. It shouldn't be the case in any of the modern games today. See what Berman has to say about this first half. Ford L doing it. All right, Ken. We'll get back to the second half of this divisional playoff game in a bit. But first, let's welcome everybody. They're doing it in the air. I'm doing it on the ground. I'm Chris Berman. Now we'll look at our halftime numbers and look at the difference in time of possession. The Bears should be way ahead on the scoreboard, but somehow they've let their opponent hang with them. Let's see if they can change things in the second half. Let's get started. They do have a turnover, though. They didn't put it up there. Would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. A 20-yard touchdown for the Redskins. The Redskins strike first and go up by seven. The Bears come right back. Ball at the 21. Cordell Stewart bounces this one to the outside. And as a runner, I don't feel like I'm missing that much from Cordell Vick, honestly, in this game. That would not be the case in Madden, which I think Madden's more accurate as far as that is. Definitely a key as he was able to work his way open for a big one here. Dub Bears, middle of the second. Cordell Stewart is going to show a little athleticism here as he finds an opening and then look at him go. He's off to the race. This presentation is just phenomenal. Jerry oh, there it was. Just a little bit backwards. Here he is for the recovery. Dub Bears, still late in the second quarter. Bears inside the red zone. Cordell Stewart got the carry here, and he comes through. A six-yard touchdown for the Bears. Redskins late into the second quarter. Game tied, 14 all. Number 39 would come up with the big play Number to kill 39, they don't even have his name Step programmed in. in. Pass for an INT. I gotta be honest, I didn't know he was on my team either. Stewart would get the carry here. Good blocking up front. Help us bring him. That set up a short 23-yard field goal. And that's where we'll leave this one. Bears are holding on to a lead. 17 to 14. Of course, it's going to be Cordell. Cordell has turned in an incredible performance thus far. Cordell Stewart has taken over this game. So that'll do it. No for yards him. passing for him. One completion it was when I put in Thanks T. Martin when Cordell got tired. Podcast presented in... ESPN Game Sound, designed and developed in collaboration with Dolby, the leader in T. Martin felt pretty good in there, so he's good backup. There's no cheerleaders in this game. That's a good point. Even Tecmo Super Bowl has cheerleaders on the sideline. That would have been a nice touch. You know, Tecmo is all about their ladies in their game. Two K, Sega Sports, not as much. How is Jones really making it worth running with him? He's picking up a good five, six yards. Okay, fumble that out of bounds. Yeah, their left end just isn't that fast, which is why I believe I'm able to turn the corner and get a lot of yards. Oh, there's no cheerleaders in the new Madden? Come on. Still? Jones barges off. 
I don't know. They just Madden doesn't do anything right, in my opinion. They don't care about the presentation. They just they got the NFL teams, they got the roster, they do care about the graphics, and they care about microtransactions, buying those cards for the ultimate team. I feel like I'll test his arm more when I have to. Ladies football game? I don't know if there's a ladies football game out there. I doubt it. I remember at one point they had a lingerie game at, at the halftime of the Super Bowl. Other channels trying to get ratings. Which isn't a bad idea. I am not running that many plays in this game. But the few that I'm running are just working over and over again. I feel like I have, from playing this entire season, gotten a lot better. Showing a little bit of hesitation to follow the blockers and get in the open area. Yeah, that wouldn't be a bad idea. Ladies football game. There, I guess it wouldn't have to be a popular league. Maybe Tecmo would make one. Oh, he recognized it. They make the Dead or Alive beach volleyball games. I don't see why they couldn't make a football one. Even Axis football has cheerleaders? Wow. Yeah, Madden, it's like they forget basic stuff. Come on, Thomas Jones, turn the corner. Bears turning into a running juggernaut. close to his blockers here. And it pays off. A well designed play there, Peter, and they remove the chain. Great execution. 67 yards on the ground. He hasn't seen that many yards since the first few games of the season when I was still using Rex Grossman. Oh, Cordell with the dive. That was cool. That's the first time I think I got that animation. No fumble. I got to see the replay on that one. Cordell. Watch. That's a fight for me. Techno music. He's got two fumbles, but hey, when you got two twenty-three and two touchdowns, you can fumble a couple times. And the Redskins just completely unable to stop the run. Or my offensive drives in general. The only one they stopped was that fumble at the pylon for the touchback. Takes the touchback. Bad downs this in the end zone for a touchback. I'm just waiting for that contract to run out ever worth between EA and the NFL. I would love to see more variety in sports games, but the reality of it is people want to play with the guys who are playing in the professional leagues even if it's an arcade sports game but uh yeah you can't do that I mean I could forgive EA a little bit when they were still making the remake of NFL no I can't forgive it. that's a lie but at least it was better when they were making NFL Street and they remade in 2012 the NFL Blitz series Last one with cheerleaders is Madden 12. Hey, I don't, I don't know why they wouldn't want to put that in, especially when most, a lot of the NFL teams have cheerleaders and they're on the sidelines. So if you're trying to be a realistic game. 
But people still say the 2K series had better ball physics than Madden ever has, even to this day. Defense holding up. For some reason, they're going to the ground now. Maybe they saw it working for me. Yeah, they're trying to emulate that. No one's there. Fourth and six. It's still pretty early. They're gonna punt. Yeah, I realized throwing that one post poster out with Cordell Stewart that the reason I was able to be so successful at that is because Vic has a cannon. He could just that window. He just throws a strike in there. Oh. And as I say that, he hits him in stride. I saw that safety blitz up, and I knew I was throwing there right away. But he hit him in stride. That was huge. Marty Booker and the Redskins still not stopping the Chicago Bears. Now it's an uphill battle for the Redskins. Booker's like, hey, I'm the leading receiver in the league. When are you going to hit me with a pass? Well, his first catch, 70 yards for a touchdown. I do think I have this game in the bag now, too. Ten points, I felt really good about it. Now 17, I would have to just screw it up myself. The ref gets the signal and we're set. I'm still going to put tons of coverage back there so they can't just get a bomb on me. A few times that I left the back, or the one time I left the backfield open. Oh, uh, they threw a bomb for a touchdown. Oh, I missed that tackle. <coughs> That's one thing I haven't gotten too good at is tackling in this game. Been using Erlacher the whole season. He gets there, but don't always make the tackle. But this is throwing him off a little bit. Was good enough. Bobby Portis is not Bobby Portis. Clinton Portis. I was probably saying Bobby Portis the whole time. Clinton Portis. Bobby Portis is a player that was on the Chicago Bears. Bulls. Man, I'm losing it now. The Chicago Bulls for four years till they traded him away to the Wizards. You can tell he's fast. Briggs gets his hand on it. Can't hold it in. You know when you see tips like that in a real NFL game, those are the ones that almost always get picked off. And it slows up the ball. Oh, he caught it. We're going to hurry up. I tried to jump there, but he just kind of dove forward. There was nothing there. 
from the bootleg. RW McCorders did a beautiful job on that last play covering the post route. That pass never had a chance. Potential for some nice yards, but the defense plays it tough. That will bring up second down. Seaver should have caught that one. It was right off his hands. Stoned hands in a big moment. Rod Gardner was open on the outskirts there, but just couldn't make the grab. Incomplete. That would have gotten their first down, and he had room to run as well. Incomplete, however. Oh, nice play. He dropped another one. Like that shift the defense to the left. Pretty tight. Tight enough for the incompletion. Well, the D holds tight on third and long and forces an incompletion. That was a good call by the defensive coordinator. So they need a field goal to make it a two-score game. So I agree with this decision. We might try Madden 20. It's good. On EA Access, we probably won't buy it. Yeah, I mean, if you like it, maybe just wait till it goes down in price. But I don't know. Called the timeout just in time. Was not in the onside kick formation. They probably would have recovered. Justin Gage showing the hands. Bobble a little bit. That could have cost him. It doesn't. And get the football before the kicking team has a shot. It's all about reflexes. So thinking about my the last time I scored a touchdown, I'm thinking that all that running I did made him choose that safety blitz, which left that post wide open. Second down, two wide outs on the field. Man, I'm just finding the holes in this game. You have to play a little bit to get down those little stutter moves. They work. Tried to dive, but he got the tackle. Animation in. Doug Flutie's maximum football. When does that come out? I've been hearing about it for a while. I'm willing to try any new football game. Might as well score another touchdown if they're just going to give it to me. I do play Game Day 98. Love that game. I think, for me, that's that's the best one in the series. And it was the best game at the time. And that's the one I like to go back to if I play a simulation football game on the PlayStation. We play that one sometimes in the retro sports league I think last time I played it was against my uncle on Thanksgiving what am I streaming that I'll probably definitely stream it during football season if it's a request I could do it sooner I mean that that's a game I like to play and I have it so I played some of the, like, because they kept the game day series on, uh, they kept the game day series on PlayStation of 2005. The one YouTube channel, Campy Company, he went through and played all the games, so believe it or not, it lasted 10 years, but... What I was saying, the, by the 2005 one, they, they didn't do anything with the presentation of the game. Like, it was way worse than 98, so I don't know. The music was worse, so. 
You should NBA Live 20 add X Factor just like NBA Live 07. Mike Green with a big pick. Read in the chat and get a pick. Hopefully that flag. Oh, clipping. His man here. Watch how he does it. Yep, there's the I don't know in the about back. that. Can't do that. That's a clipping penalty. That's a rough call. Oh no, I still got the ball back. Okay. I guess clipping on the interception here, return. Takes the field. In command, and yeah, definitely like what I saw from the NBA Live series. That that's the one that I've enjoyed a little bit in modern. Uh, sports games I just like the way it controls better versus 2k 2k still feels like the players move slower than the button presses whereas live doesn't feel that way even though you know 2k kills it on the presentation and the graphics are better and all that stuff but I still think the live get over I like the way it plays, but let's just put it that way. Toss didn't work out too well. I didn't. You know, there, some of those games look really good on the P PlayStation Portable. I always wanted one of those when it came out. I thought it was the coolest thing. But in reality, I wasn't in situations where I was going to be using a portable system. So it had just been... By choice. I just recently went to San Diego, took the switch on the plane ride. Yeah, 2K, I mean, it's awesome. But I, I still think it doesn't, the guys don't move with. There's always that delay of what you press, which is what actually happens in the game. Did I see your previous comment? September. That's when Flutie's Maximal Football comes out. So in football season, what systems does it come out for? Is it just a PC game? Or is it going to be on PlayStation 4? Xbox One? I've got Really, I feel like I've gotten really good at scrambling. I mean, I got 275 with Cordell. This is getting ridiculous. Thomas Jones might hit 100 yards. 11 more yards rushing. Got to adjust the game speed. I don't think it's about the game speed. It's just, you know, like if you shift the guy, if you press right on the joystick, he's got to, like, do a little pivot before he actually moves. Like, that's, that's what I'm talking about. Like, does it look realistic? Is it realistic? Yeah, I guess so. But it just doesn't, for a video game, I, I just don't like the way that feels. Oh, what is this going to be? Holding? One man to beat. Runs out of bounds. 2K18 for the Switch for a couple bucks. That's awesome. See, I have the Nintendo Switch. And that's what I'm waiting for. It's just for it to mature. And then I'll buy a bunch of physical copies of the games when they're like, you know, 10 bucks, 12 bucks. Like, one of the games I want to try that's actually pretty goofy is Shaq Fu. It's just like a side-scrolling beat-em-up. But I was going to pay $40, $30 for it. I'll wait till it's like 10 bucks. If it's... I don't know if it's that already. This is just... This is the most rush yards I've had in the game, I feel like. NBA 2K18 was trash. Went back to 2K17 until 2K19 came out. I think 2K17 was the last one I bought for PS4. It was pretty good. Played mostly for the park. And 400 yards rushing in the game. 
Thomas Jones is 103. My park, the pro am, played with some friends. I just, I want to use an NBA player though. I don't really care about building up my guy. That's that's the problem I have with it because they're always nagging me about spending DC. But that's a couple years ago now. I mean, I haven't been able to get on the modern counts as much as I used to. I wouldn't know. It's my first sports game on the Switch. Music's playing. The Bears get the big win. Going to the NFC Championship. All right, gang. Thank you so much. 407 on the ground. Are you kidding me? We welcome you to our playoff edition of the ESPN. Yeah, I kind of want to try the first FIFA that came out on the Switch. The Bears stepped it up for sure. I don't follow soccer really, so it wouldn't make any difference about the rosters. And it's like its own version for the Switch. Thank you, Antonio. I appreciate it. I feel like I played a great game with Vic out. Cordell Stewart, was, he was way better than I ever imagined. Like, I feel like just the fact that he was a little bit slower... Let me kind of, you know, hesitate and be patient and just find some running lanes. But they played a lot of man defense, which allowed me to just get open. And then they're, they're, well, I guess they're right end because left end would be the other side. I'm looking at the left. Um, he was not turning the corner at all. And that's where we'll leave this one. Bears win and they've earned a trip to the conference. Yes, I have Mutant Football League on the Switch. If you ever want to play me in it, let me know. I can count that in the Retro Sports League. Uh, that game is fun. I've Cordell. Give him the interview. Thanks, Chris. You really showed up today. You just made it look easy. Don't even show his running what stats. What the difference for you guys to come out triumphant today? Our offense was really really nice. Move the ball well, put points on the board. We don't have a tough time stopping. We executed our offense the way we needed to get this win. Back to you, Chris. I also have Mutant Football League. I, that is a game I bought digitally before I knew it was coming out physical on PlayStation 4. So long. Have a great day. And O. Campbell saying they want folks money to build up a player. I know. I know what the game is. That's why they're telling me to spend money on it. And I'm like, I'm not doing that. Like, I know what their game is. Like, I bought the game. I'll just play it. That's good. Yeah, bought it physical. I really... That's one thing I really like about the Nintendo Switch. Is that they have the physical games and... They actually play off of the little cartridges. Because that's... I think that's going to disappear. And the Switch is going to... I think the Switch is going to last for a long time. Honestly. Because it's a portable system too. Like, it's probably going to last a good 10 years. And it's only like what? And it's second or... Yeah, I think second, third year. Redskins are toast. Let's save it. And then see who my opponent would be. You have a 256 gig SD card. That's pretty hefty. See, that? that's one thing I... That's cool. I got one thing I don't like about the Switch is that there are games like the 2K game that you can't play it straight off the card. You actually need the SD card. I mean, I know SD cards aren't that expensive, but it's just uh, it's kind of a bummer that you can't play it straight off. But it's still most of the games you can play straight off the game cartridge, which is awesome. I don't think. Pretty much any of the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, you pretty much have to download something as soon as you pop the disc in. And it actually will let you, like, if you just want to play the game and not do the software download. 
for the update, you could just play it without it. Antonio, if you never played Game Day 98, you got to give it a shot. You got to let us know if it's not just nostalgia, but I, I think it is a solid game. I really do. Like, even playing it in retrospect, I think it's still a good game. All right, let's see who the opponent will be. We'll simulate the rest of this week. The Atlanta Falcons. Atlanta Falcons, ironically, the team I traded with to get... Michael Vick, so I'd probably be going up against Rex Grossman. Maybe Peanut Tillman on the corner. It depends how their injury status is looking. They also do have Anthony Thomas from me, which I don't know if they even play him because they got work done. Oh, yeah, the first Xbox. I'm growing more of an appreciation for it. I was... I had the PS2 since basically the launch. It was like one of the first systems. Probably the only system I bought on launch. Uh, but Xbox I kind of bought later on and just bought sports games for it. NBA Live 04 and 05 were fun games. I played a lot of those on PS2. Well, you don't need a PS2. You actually only need a PlayStation 1. Game Day 98 will play on there. But, of course, PS2 plays PlayStation 1 games as well. So, let me save again since we know. You never know with these systems what's going to be. It's going to save properly or it's going to freeze or something. But, hey, this game pretty much worked all the way through i haven't had freezes haven't had trouble saving on the hard drive so it's working well so yeah there you have it 13 and 4 i'm in the nfc championship at cespn.com i wish there was like a bracket or something but it just shows the playoff picture but it looks like the Patriots <coughs> and the Colts are on a collision course which that that would make for a hard Super Bowl but one last thing we have to do is watch this week's Sports Center so we can see what happened and who's in the AFC championship and then we'll sign off for tonight. If PS5 plays all of them, that would be unbelievable. Because you could stream straight from the PS4, which I'm assuming they'll do on the PS5, which means you could play that whole catalog and stream. That's really what I'm missing on the PlayStation 4. I would love to even play just the PlayStation 1 games and stream them. Um, I know I could do that with the computer like I'm doing now, but it's just so convenient for to just do it quickly and for others to do it if they just want to start streaming those older games. It would give people an easy way to do it. Let's turn it up a little bit. Dragon Clutch coming through with the wrestling game the game stuff. I'm Chris Berman. Let's get straight to the action. In our first game this week, we had the Falcons come away with... It will happen eventually. Falcons crushed the Rams. Colts Chad crushed the Bengals. Well despite the loss and showed us why he's ranked up at the top of the league. We had a big injury in this one and Trey has the lowdown for it. Trey? All right, Boomer, thanks. Dude, we don't care about these injuries. A single injury to report this week, but unfortunately... It's a season-ending injury. We know. Gary Brackett had to be placed on injured reserve. He was injured last week, too. He sidelines for the rest of the year. Just a key blow to the heart of this defense. So that'll do it for now. Boomer, back to you. 
Corey Dillon ran for an incredible 200 the plus Patriots, yards. Patriots, he had 240. He didn't beat Cordell, though. So Patriots or Colts are going to be awaiting in the Super Bowl if I can get past the Falcons, which will be a tough game. I don't think the Falcons will be super tough. 291 for Cordell. So as the field narrows to four, let's hand out a few special playoff-sized game balls to this weekend's primetime players. Seven now games in a row for Christmas. the Bears. Thanks so much for joining That's us. That's that streak they're video. talking about. We'll see you for the conference championships here on ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. All right, that is going to do it for tonight. Thank you, everyone, for watching. We'll be back soon with the NFC Championship. Antonio, I'm working on NBA Live 99. Before I buy any other game, that will be the next game I buy. Uh, game Day 98. I know it's not football season. This is just a running thing I've had going that uh, I'm looking forward to finishing out. So I'm going to keep playing this. There's only a max of two more games left. You're welcome, Stutter and Stick. No problem. So, yeah, we'll be back soon with another stream. Cordell Stewart tearing it up. Flash, look him up. Look up his highlights. He had some great performances for the Steelers. Bears, not so much. He did play on the Bears one season, but, you know, what can you do? Doom to my, we'll see you later as well. Have a good night, everyone. Take care. This was a showdown Saturday. We'll be back soon. Um, am I streaming next Saturday? There's a good possibility. Will I be streaming this game? Maybe, maybe not. It just depends. You know, I don't like playing games that I'm not in the, the mood to play because then it won't be a good stream. So if I'm in the mood to play it, I'll get back on this. If not, I might just bust out some random sports game. So we'll see what happens. See you later, O'Campbell. And that, that will do it. We'll see you guys later.